Welcome back, Hookaholics. We're back with another Angler's Hall Advanced. So, uh, yeah. We're finally back. Uh, it's been, uh, let's see, January and February, and now it's March. So, Angler's Hall decided to uh, do a little hiatus and uh, reduce the inflow of stuff on us. And they waited two months, but they're back with a brand new Angler's Hall Advanced. So, for all of us advanced participants, we had to wait, but it's back. So, uh, we're going to crack into the March Angler's Hall Advanced Series. Um, if you don't know what Angler's Hall is, that's another um, you know mail order subscription service, but it's unlike all the others. It's not bait crate. It's not um, <clears throat> uh, mystery tackle box, or uh, it's not it's not pushing baits. They're pushing. It's not pushing terminal tackle. They're pushing the other products, the products that all those other mail order subscription companies lack: um, tackle bags, rods, reels, uh, knives. Uh, clippers, snips, um, everything under the sun that you you need in advance to your you know your your hooks and your lines and your sinkers. That's where Angler's Hall comes in to fill that void. I get the advanced tier. The advanced tier is hundred and nine dollars a month with a estimated uh, box value of around one hundred and sixty dollars of products uh, retailed in this box. Um, per month. So, without further ado, there's two tiers to this, a pro and an advanced. Um, it's a packed box. It's a flat packed box. So, Let's see what we got. Our what's in the box card listing our products for this month. So, we have the pro tier box which lists these items and because I've, I've paid the extra money to go to the advanced package, they added on these three items here, and uh, let's see what we got. So, right off the top, for $24.99 from the Gills Company, good quality uh, apparel company, Gills High Rise Face Mask. So, all right, so we've got ourselves um, an AOP High Rise Gray, one size face mask. So, it's your typical, well, I shouldn't say typical, it's your better than typical, um, you know, Neko face mask. So, pull this out of the uh, package. Alright. So, here you go. And there's just a little description of what it is. So, it's got the mesh breathe-through area for your mouth. So, you can breathe through that on a cold day. It's going to allow you to breathe um, without getting that cold throat sensation because you're you're filtering your breath as you're breathing in and exhaling. Uh, it's got, so there's that mesh section for the breathing hole. Uh, airflow vents on the side so that you're not going to get super hot. Um, saddle cut bottom so it's going to go really nicely underneath your fishing shirt. Again, helps protect your neck from the UVs. And... Uh, oh, okay. So it also helps to reduce the sunglass fogging. I never had a problem with that, really. Um, so, now this isn't the type of Neko that you would particularly, um, you know, throw completely up and just cover the eyes. This is basically, you know, top down, then you'd have your ball cap. This isn't the kind that goes completely over your head. I mean, like, as a, as a scully cap as well as a Neko. So... Let's take off the old hat here. So you got this. Nicely fits. I always tend to wear my sunglasses and I roll this, this edge over so I kind of cup the nose. But uh, there you go. Mm. <laughs> So you got this nice thing, and of course when you're when you're out in your fishing shirt, you tuck that underneath. 
It keeps that sun off your neck, so your collarbone, your neck, and throat are all covered from uh, any adverse skin cancer causing UV rays. And uh, yeah, this is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Still pop it down, carry on your fishing. When you need to, you just roll it back up. It's not obtrusive. Allows plenty of free breathing. And I do, I do like these little gill slits here to allow ventilation on a windier day. It allows the air to circulate and uh, prevent you from getting that sweaty, wet neck. A lot of people, you know, myself included, uh, have a tendency to get, uh, every once in a while, get that <laughs> sweat down your back. You know, when you're out there fishing on a hot day and your neck goes, starts, starts wicking all that, that moisture and then you'll get that drip that goes down the back of your neck. I don't particularly care for that. So hopefully this little ventilation system they've got going on here uh, will help reduce that. So that's cool, $24.99. Um, like I said, it's just a little bit of a tier up above your standard, you know, Neckos that you can pick up at, uh, at MTB and some of these other retailers. Uh, next is a bait, Booyah Melee. I, I've heard of these for $8.99. Booyah, oh my lord. There's something in this box that I'm very happy to see. Booyah Melee. So this is a... Uh, the Booyah's version, you've got like the Thunder Cricket, you've got the, obviously your Z-Man's Chatterbaits. This is the Booyah's version of a Chatterbait jig. This is a 3 8 ounce. And uh, pop it out of here. The color they've got on this is the Pumpkin Black. Royal Pumpkin Black. Royal Pumpkin Black. So... Again, you've got a chatterbait style blade. It's got a slight cove to it, not as steep an angle as the chatterbait, but it is wicked back. Um, you've got that nice snap clip attachment. Good stout hook. I say that's a four aught. And now the melee is um, is really intricate because instead of the chatterbait blade being connected to the nose of the of the the lead head. What the melee's done is they've actually put this channel into the bait's head and run a, th a solid wire, and then they they basically have put the blade of the chatterbait or the jig blade in that. So this thing actually bounces back and forth and makes a hell of an interesting sound. I've I have seen a few uh, YouTube videos where a gentleman actually took this this blade bait and, and positioned it against uh, the, the uh, Z-Man Chatterbait against um, some of the other uh, bladed style baits and this one actually did did amazingly well. Uh, it was just, it was a fundamentally different sound underwater. He actually put some underwater uh, audio acoustic recordings of it and it was way different. It's, it's, uh, it's a sound unto itself and I suggest if you can get out there and try one of these Booyah blades, um, these melees, um, they are pretty awesome. They also, Booyah, they actually stamp or, or, or uh, imprint in the blade the weight of the blade. So this is, again, 3 8 ounce uh, Booyah and Booyah Bait Company, which I think is awesome. So, Z-Man, step it up. Um, that's cool. I'm going to definitely enjoy pitching that around and throwing it and uh, seeing what I can pull. It's got that purple, uh, purple Marabou Flash, uh, purple... Um, skirt material with a little bit of purple marabou flash for some added uh, shimmer and of course a green pumpkin pepper style skirt added to it so a pb and j trailer that's gonna definitely win on that eight dollars and 99 cents number three and this is all in the pro tier so anybody with a pro box is getting these items uh maniac lures cutter bug maniac maniac custom lures so, okay, we've got basically, this is an interesting trailer, and I'm pretty sure they're probably, possibly, looking to use this as the trailer on that jig, because this does have pseudo, pseudo uh, PB&J style um, kind of color. It's got the green pumpkin in it with a little bit of orange. So you see that there's green pumpkin down the back side here, and then that orange uh, thing. So this is basically like a grub head or your standard Senko head 
nicely ribbed, good water displacement. But then they have your like powder tail, claw, leaf cutter style. So these actually can be torn apart. It's, it's connected about six or seven different attachment points, but you can split this tail. And the amazing thing about this bait, you can split just that first section and have just a little bit of action. The second section have a little bit more. The third, fourth, fifth, or all the way down to the crotch of the, of the item and, and have all of those flailing appendages, that little wing work in there. So that's awesome. And as I said, that might actually work pretty well uh, on this on this jig head right here. Um, this does come with a single wire keeper on the, uh, on the uh, Booyah. So again, these, this is a pack of 10, full pack. These are 3.5 inch cutter bugs. The color on this is Real Claw, excuse me, Real Craw, and they are a salted bait, so they're a sinking lure. Uh, and not for human con consumption, because Lord knows that looks like a gummy bear to me. <laughs> uh, quantity 10, made in the USA from uh, Maniac Lures Company, and they wanted $4.49 for that. Uh, number four on the list, Yum, from Yum Bait, you have the Yum Sharpshooter. Yum Sharpshooter. Okay. Okay, these are a four and a half inch Ghost Shad colored 20 pack. Again, no small packs come out of uh, Angler's Hall. You pay a premium price, but you always get full manufacturer's packs. Not samples, not off runs. These are the real deal every time. So that's always, you know, you get what you pay for, sort of, sort of speak. But it's, it's very appreciated anyway. Uh, now let's see if I can get through the bloody bag. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I'm going to get my razor blade. Can't get through that bag. All right, there we go. Uh, Ziplocs, I love you. So, again, 20 pack. This is a tiny little finesse drop shot, scented lightly. Uh, the Yum Sharpshooter is a $2.99 package. Again, you've got that Ghost Shad. It's got a cutter tail on the back. You see that scythe cut little tail? Okay, yes. Um, very very flexible, very wiggly gelatin style plastic. This is definitely awesome on a drop shot. Um, certainly. Uh, I can see that working very well. Sharpshooter. Uh, drop shot, jig head, or finesse Texas rig. Hand pour quality. Machine production, <laughs> but hand, hand pour quality. Uh, $2.99 on that. Uh, I like those ghosty colors. Um, mostly clear water. Right now, we had rain all day. The water's going to be all stirred up. I wouldn't even attempt to throw that right now because the water's just way too, too, uh, too, uh, caramel chocolate milk. Uh, next, Booyah's One Knocker, $7.29. So we got ourselves the all-famous One Knocker, three-quarter ounce by Booyah. So... This one is the Ghost Green Craw. Ghost Green Pumpkin Craw. Taped up. Three quarter ounce, one knockers. This, uh, this box, I wish I had a tournament to play, to, you know, to fish in, because, I mean, this is tournament grade quality stuff. You got your drop shot baits, you got your your agitation sound baits, you got your lipless crank baits, bladed jig, there's your typical one knocker, got that ghost green pumpkin, green colored plastic with the crawfish paint scheme behind it, and that, that blood trail, that bleeding gill blood trail, and the red eyes that always work to, uh, to stick those bass, and of course they come with those Nice wide gap hooks, real sticky, right out the bait, out the gate. Love one knockers, love them. 
Um, have a bunch. It's another one to add to the collection. Last but not least on the pro scale uh, is the Live Target Spinner for $13.99. So, okay, so this is your flash and vibration. This is another one of those bait ball spinner rigs. This is a half ounce. It's basically an Alabama rig scaled way, way down. Um, adds the flash and vibration because in the middle you have this willow leaf blade dead center. You have a large hooked trailer fish on the bottom, and then you have three dummies on the top. Um, it's from their bait ball series. Uh, it's not the whole solid bait ball, but um, these do work well. I mean, the key to these, uh, just like an A-Rig, you can throw this out and you can give it pumps, pumps, pumps as you're, as you're reeling in your slack. Um, but this also works very well just like a crankbait. Run this and deflect this off of sunken timber, sunken logs, sunken rock, um, road beds, gravel beds, um, or skim it over top of grass and give it that pump action. Uh, either way, uh, these, these actually do work fairly well catching, uh, catching bass. Um, $13.99. I find them... I'm not a real big fan of A-Rigs or these multi-fish rigs, to be honest, but they work. Um, you're just adding, you're, you're, you're changing your percentage rate. You're adding a percentage for a hookup because a fish is more apt to go after a school of shiner rather than one single jerk bait that emulates a shiner. So I definitely give it props. Um, uh, and, and they do, and they have caught, caught fish. So that's $13.99. The whole pro, the pro tier, your value came to $62.74 this month returning from their two year two month hi uh, hiatus. Now, my advanced tier should buck that up to $160 value or more and I have reached that. First in the advanced tier box, Gills V2 tournament shirt. So I got another fishing shirt. So another and this is cool because the color scheme, you see they take care to blend your colors so you look decent with a semi, you know, somewhat matched pattern. So you got the Gills V2 tournament shirt. Pull this out of the box, or bag, I should say. Um, tournament series, it's got that nice uh, polyester made in China. Oh my God, it's made in China. Oh no. But, uh, no, nah, it's a nice uh, fishing shirt added to my collection. Long sleeve has those vented, uh, yeah, you know, connections for for the underarm and for the lower part of your your arm's length, the wrist and all. So that adds a lot of ventilation right down there um, for the for you to wick away any moisture and keep yourself cool and dry. Again, in the underarm and the back of the shoulder blade area, uh, you get all that wicking material as well and that ventilated. Uh, ventilated uh, section so that's awesome that's always good again keeps the heat down uh, keeps this one blocks 98% of the UV rays with a UPF 50 plus rating um, so that's awesome I always appreciate anything that's PPE for me <laughs> for fishing um, next these two items I'm amazed at this the last one I'm actually most stoked about. It's not necessarily the most expensive, but it's certainly the one that's actually got me pumped. So first, slightly more, the Gills, the Gills uh, tournament shirt was $49.99. Next in the advanced, second item in the advanced box is the Plano Blade Bag for $29.99, something that's absolutely epic for me. I do have a ton of blade baits, uh, and as far as storing my bladed jigs, I've basically used a... Um, like a, a box, but this is a proper way to store your bladed baits. So this is the Plano's Guide Blade Bag. So that's pretty pretty damn cool. You got your uh, you know embossed little leather patch here, yippee yippee. So as you can see. Um, 10 and a half inches by 3 inches by 12 and a half inches tall. Nice stout zippers. Leather, leatherette pulls. And 
multiple zipper bags to throw your bladed baits inside their own little individual pocket so you can see without even thinking open it up you've got that two ring binder style and you can just run for exactly what color combo blade bait you want so I'm definitely gonna have fun loading this up it looks like you can hold let's see uh, 16 16 or so blades or individual or you can obviously double up or triple up if you want to go with like all your black blue in this sleeve and then all your green pumpkins and your chartreuses and your whites etc um, you can color coordinate it and it's at a glance through these see-through pockets you can pick what bladed jig you want to run which spinner you want to use um, probably buzzes buzz baits might actually fit in there as well but i think it's primarily for the more flat compact um you know spinner bait bag but uh, i think a buzz bait or two might be able to fit in there obviously it's going to be puffed up with uh with the, the buzz baits because obviously you know they, they do have the lips that that fan out to catch the water but that's awesome that is a 29 and 9 a 29 dollar 99 cent item that's greatly appreciated again it's something that helps to organize my tackle especially right now with the rain Today's the day to do some spring cleaning and organization. Go in, sharpen up your hooks, get rid of the rusty ones, swap out for new trebles, just check your O-rings, make sure you don't have any bent out, chipped up, dinged up, scratched up O-rings, especially the O-rings on your line ties. Big, big tip. You've been fishing all last season with your, with your lipless cranks, your lipped cranks, your buzz baits. You've bounced these guys off of rocks. Their paint's all chipped up and torn up. What people don't always look at, check that O-ring. See if that O-ring's rusty. See if that hit a rock or two while you were reeling. It may not have cut your line. It may not have chipped out your knot. But it may have been dinged or scratched, and that adds a burr. That burr, when you go to tie it on this season, might just one in a one million shot you catch a nice five and a half pound bass, and that little burr on that O-ring that you just ignored and just thought nothing of will cut off your mono, cut off your fluoro, you know, give it that one little bit that snaps that line right at the knot. There's your, there goes your bait, there goes your fish. So definitely check out all of your O-rings, all your circle rings, all of your, your connections, uh, and make sure that they're in good condition when you start the season. Um, that's just a helpful hint because it's something a lot of people, myself included, often take for advantage. Um, last in my advanced tier, giving my entire advanced package a $162.71 total value. This is the brand new for 2019-2020 Plano Edge Series. This is their 3600 box for $19.99. Excellent, excellent, Excellent. I've, I've wanted to try these. I know these are great. This is only a 3600 size, but this is like kayak and backpack uh, bank anglers perfect size. So you have the Plano Edge series. This is their brand new uh, series of Planos that came out. It's that awesome one lock. You just simply pop down the top latch and then this opens right up. So you can do it with one single finger one single latch it comes with a moisture wicking uh, capsule so it's got that that uh, basically the same shit that's in these that you see in your shoes you see it in any kind of apparel it's um you know do not eat yada yada um, it's basically inside this one little plano capsule you place that anywhere inside this box that you can find a good location for and you'll be able to have it wick the moisture out of the atmosphere inside the sealed box because it is a sealed watertight unit with one clickety click and uh, that will keep your hooks in a much more pristine uh, drier environment so there is that um, you can DIY these yourself uh, I know there's videos out there of people doing that uh, but it's just as easy to, uh, to take this water wick and either order a new one or I believe there is a way, um, I'm not going to say put it in the oven, but to dry it out and reconstitute the uh, the absorbent capabilities of it. 
Um, but I would suggest, you know, look that up online, see the different ways that people are coming up with solutions to that. If I can come up with a series of solutions for making these have a, long, a longer life, longevity of them, I'll, I'll be happy to share that with you. Um, again, a lot of people, it doesn't really affect me at all, but a lot of people are very happy that these divider sections already come pre-cut. Pre There's no little tabs of plastic that you have to dis, you know, dispose of or you don't have to wiggle and break off individual uh, uh, dividers. Me, I could care less either way. I te technically, I never typically use all of the dividers anyway, so when they were all strung on a strip, normally I would have one or two strips entirely just left un unsnapped, un un uh, segmented, and then I would you know, use the segments I want. So it was just as easy for me to have those two whole sections just tucked away in a drawer, out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. And then if I ever needed to replace one because it got stained or broken or what have you, I could go back, pull out one, snap it off, and, and replace and exchange. Um, these just are the same thing, just they're already cut for you. So I don't know if it's half laziness or just I'm odd that way and it doesn't really affect me either way. But uh, yeah, thank you very much Anglers Hall for this because this is something that I definitely am very interested in putting to the test and seeing how this works out. Um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. The one thing I must say for Plano that I do like, um, I would love to see them come out with a version that literally has like a track on the top, like a clicking track without individual cha channels for the dividers where you could put in the divider on the that would attach at the top at the clicking track or in the middle and then you could you could basically position it anywhere from 0 to 100 so you could have 0 0 0.1 0 0.5 2.3 any nuanced amount would be awesome um, and that would be basically a pre-cut uh, vent and again these are ventilated I should point that out too Plano has ventilated individual sections so that air can flow through to also aid in that wicking, uh, that wicking compartment. But uh, something where it clicks into the bottom, the bottom's just a track, and then there's a connection on the actual segment, and then you can go click, 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 almost like maybe Lego style. You can put it here or here or here, or anywhere in between. Instead of being kind of pigeon held to what mathematically they figure is that's a good pocket size, or that's a good so, you know section size, or that's a, you know. Having that thing where I can actually go in between these two individual dividers, I think would be awesome. Where it's literally 100% in my control as to where the segment goes. As well as these being adjustable where they can go up and down. I might want one large pocket on the top and two or three very narrow pockets down here where I can lay my baits in you know, this way. Especially with soft plastics. Um, but you're, you're pigeon held to that specific dimension, top to bottom. These are things that my crazy, overcomplicated brain tends to, tends to think about. Um, so maybe if Plano is watching, they'll, uh, they'll look into some, something like that. Maybe that'll be a next generation Plano. Um, all that said, been a, been a relatively quick uh, video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm very happy to finally get back on track with my, uh, my Angler's Hall. We'll see what they have next month. Um, I appreciate them taking off the winter, getting in contact with Plano, sealing deals for brand new, really brand new items that have just come out on the market and being able to give that to us, um, us anglers. And uh, again, I'm really stoked to uh, try out this bladed uh, bag for my spinner baits and give this a whirl in my day-to-day -day routine. Um, I think this is gonna be dramatically awesome. And you can't beat the classic one knockers or, you know, your chatter bait, bladed bait, uh, bladed jig. So uh, I hope this was informative. Again, Gills High Rise, uh, the face mask, $24.99. The Booyah Melee, this bladed jig, was $8.99. The Manic Lures Cutter Bugs, uh, pl soft plastic, $4.49. Yum Sharp Shooters, soft plastic, $2.99. The Booyah One Knocker, $7.29. Uh, the live target spinner, that bait ball style, was $13.99 for a, a $62.74 value in the pro tier. The Gills tournament shirt was $49.99. The Plano bag for my spinner baits was $29.99. And the Plano Edge hard 
3600 was 1999 for a total box value in the advanced tier of 16271 I hope you enjoyed as always tight lines I'll catch you on the next cast peace workaholics